In today's lesson on math, we will discuss writing about estimation and division. Having to write in math can be difficult. When writing in math, it is important to remember math vocabulary and how to solve math problems. If you are having a hard time completing math writing questions, it can be a good idea to watch the math vocabulary and concept lessons again. It is also important when writing in math to read the question or listen to it closely. The way a math question is written can give us clues about how to solve it or how to write our answer. For example, if we were asked, explain how to estimate the quotient of 1,926 divided by 5, then find the exact quotient and compare it to your estimated answer. Show all of your work. This is a math writing question that is an excellent opportunity to review materials, meaning if you don't remember how to estimate, it is a good idea to review the lessons and reading. Recall that numbers can be either rounded up or down. If the number in the place you are using to round ends in 5 or above, then round up. If the number in the place you are using to round ends in 4 or below, round down. The quotient of 1,926 divided by 5 can be estimated by rounding. Let's round 1,926 to the nearest thousand. This means we'll look to the hundreds place to round. Since 9 is above 5, we round up to 2,000. The new problem is now 2,000 divided by 5. This is easier to solve, and we can see an even easier problem to solve. 20 divided by 5 equals 4. Then add zeros for the tens and ones. 400 is our estimate. Now we need to find the exact answer. We begin by asking how many times does 5 go into 1? Since 1 is too small, 5 goes into 1 zero times. So we move on to the tens place. How many times does 5 go into 19 without going over? Since 5 times 3 equals 15, we put 3 in the quotient over the hundreds place value and put 15 under 19. 19 minus 15 equals 4. Then we bring the 2 down. Since the new number is 42, we ask how close can we get to 42 without going over. 5 times 8 equals 40. So we put the 8 in the quotient over the tens place value and put 40 under 42. 42 minus 40 equals 2. Then we bring down the 6. Since the new number is 26, we ask how close can we get to 26 without going over. Since 5 times 5 equals 25, we can put 5 in the quotient over the 1's place value and put 25 under 26. 26 minus 25 equals 1, which gives us a remainder of 1. 385 remainder 1 is very close to our estimate of 400, so our estimate was a good one. After all that work, let's look at our question again. To answer the question, we could write, to estimate the quotient of 1,926 divided by 5. I rounded 1,926 up to 2,000 and got 400 as an estimated quotient. Then I divided 1,926 by 5 and got 385 remainder 1. Since this is close to 400, it was an accurate estimate. So, in summary, when writing in math, it is important to know math vocabulary and to read or listen to the question closely. Math questions usually give us hints on how to solve them. For the question that asks, explain how to estimate the quotient of 1,926 divided by 5. Then find the exact quotient and compare it to your estimated answer. Show all of your work. The quotient can be estimated by rounding 1,926 up to 2,000 and dividing by 5. The estimated answer is 400, and the real answer is 385 remainder 1. For more information on this topic, contact your teacher.